Active Investor here, bringing you another independent analysis. This time we're taking a look at ticker symbol FSIC, that's FS Invit Quer. Chart we're looking at today is a one day chart. Each candlestick on the chart representing one day of trading. And we go back to right around December of 2015 on this chart. So let's take a look at what the overall trend is telling us, some areas of support, areas of resistance, and if this is looking like it's gonna to break to the upside or to the downside. So we have some main areas to take a look at. On here on the side are our pivot points, pivot points being areas of support or resistance. As you may know in technical analysis, an area that is once support can become resistance if it is broken and vice versa. So our current share price is trading right around that $9 level closed at $9.02 on Friday. That means we have support at $8.90, $8.30, and $7.80. Pretty good support there. Uh, we've tested that $8.90 area multiple times, acting as support all along here, uh, acting as resistance here, turn back to support, a little bit of resistance there. So it's definitely a pivot point. And then uh, once again here, support, almost acted as support here and here, and then absolutely acted as support over here over here and then became resistance over here before we broke up and turned it to support once again. So 890, super important area for this stock. And I didn't mean to delete that. <laughs> Let me put that $10 area right back up there again. So $10. Areas of resistance on the way up, $9.30. You can see we tested it multiple times here, here, here. We broke above 10, uh, rather 930 there, but we couldn't hold the level. Same deal here. We had the wicks of the candles just barely poking up above 9.30, but we couldn't hold those levels. And what's really interesting is actually right here, we broke above $9.30, but it looks like that 200 day moving average, that red line literally acted as resistance, trailing resistance, because the candles couldn't really stay above that 200 day moving average and it really kind of denied them. And uh, right, so it looks like if we do leg up, we're gonna hit some really tough resistance at $9.30. And if the trend continues to get denied at that 200 day moving average, you're looking at some more resistance right around $9.17 where that 200 day moving average is currently trading. Now trailing support, that 100 day moving average, that orange line is looking like it is some trailing support. You can see it acted as support here, 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 and once again here. So we have some pretty good support um, $8.90 acting as support, of course, and that 100 day moving average acting as trailing support, and that's currently trading, rather it's currently ranging at right about 877, so a really good support between 877 and 890. However, if we do break to the downside and we break 890, and we do break that support on that 100 day moving average, you're looking at a falling off all the way to about $8.30 before we find some more support, so just keep that in mind. Now. Let's take a look at our indicator down here at the bottom. That's our MACD indicator. The MACD is actually looking pretty good to me. Um, it's not quite entirely bullish yet. We want to see the MACD averages above that zero line. The zero line, of course, being that white line right here. Um, and it just started legging up above the zero line. But what's really nice looking is, if you can see, it's kind of hard to notice, but we have a light blue histogram on the MACD, which indicates that the divergence is becoming more and more bullish. So if this stock can continue rising in price, the MACD is gonna look really good, and that's just gonna mean that this trend is getting stronger and stronger. Now let me just take a look at uh, the original person who requested this analysis. Uh, just give me one moment, please. I think that was, yes, Devario on Reddit. Devario, I'm not sure what your cost basis is. I know you said that you were trying to get out of this stock. So I'm really not sure what your cost basis is, so I can't really tell you what I would do in your situation, but, uh, I'm just gonna tell you that if I was in the stock at its current share price at $9.02, I would definitely give it a little leeway if $8.90 breaks. Um, I would probably have a stop loss somewhere around that 200 day, rather that 100 day moving average. So maybe around $8.90 to $8.70. But once again, I'm not sure what your cost basis is. So you know, if you got in around $8, $7, then you're still in pretty good shape and you have some good support before you break even. But if you bought in at around 10 or nine or, or even more, um, I, I would say I would probably hold on to it for now. But if 890 breaks and if 870 breaks, I probably would be looking to exit as a reversal when it happened until about 830. And obviously if we hit $8.30, then we're just gonna have even more resistance, resistance on the way up. We don't ever wanna see that 200 day moving average above our candles 
especially on the, the daily chart or you know the four hour, two hour, the longer time frames. Um, and in that same note, we don't wanna see the 100 day average above our candles. So the good news is that 100 day average is below our candles and uh, the rest of the averages are kind of converging. So we could see a little bit of volatility and judging by the MACD, like I said, if this trend does continue up, the volatility will probably be to the upside and we probably will test that $9.30 level. But just keep in mind that we have resistance on the 50 day and the 200 day moving average on the way up there. That resistance is not ever as hard as a solid pivot point, but it is little areas of resistance. So keep that in mind. Not really much else I can add on this stock. I hope this analysis helped you out a bit. Like I said, without knowing your cost basis, I can only really say so much, but that's really, uh, that's really what this trend is looking like right now. You know, we had some consolidation and channeling between 890 and 930 for a while. We almost broke it to the downside, but bounced right off that 100 day moving average and broke that 890 resistance turning into support once again. So I would give the stock a little bit of time, give it a little more chance, but yeah, 890 breaks and 877 breaks, you know, we break below that uh, 100 day moving average, things are not gonna be looking so good at all. So that'll also mean our MACD is gonna go below that zero line and we don't wanna see that happen. So hope this analysis helped you out. Anyone else watching, I hope you enjoyed this and I will catch you in the next video. Have a good one.